Good evening, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Give me one moment. Good evening. <laughs> I'm back. I'm doing a little check in. We're on day nine of our 21 days journey of revitalization. And I thank everyone for joining us. Share the video, like the video. I'm just doing a little check in, a review see how everyone is doing motivating encouraging everyone sorry y'all i'm trying to i got my chair in a weird spot but um i'm checking in reminding everyone of the fast journey that we are doing um and refreshing our memory of scripture that we are supposed to be meditating on during this fast so the fast is not just um something to do for i guess physical benefit but we're specifically doing this for a spiritual benefit amen so refresh what are we doing it is journey of revitalization so let's do some definitions again a journey is an act of traveling from one place to another we are seeking to move from or travel from the fleshly realm to the spiritual realm. Amen. That's what this journey is. This is a spiritual journey with God, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. The Holy Spirit. This is what our journey is. It's to crucify our physical flesh and get our spirit man built up and postured correctly to be led by the holy spirit amen so going further we have another definition revitalization so the title is 21 day days journey of revitalization revitalization is the action of permeating something with new life and vitality so it's the action of saturating Filling up, completely covering something with new life and vitality, vitality strength, vitality energy, vitality activity, amen? So we are seeking God to give us the strength to do the will of the Lord. We are seeking God to give us the activity to continue out throughout the day of our everyday life as well, amen? And to give us energy as well amen so while we're doing this we have to be mindful that it's not our might and it's not our power not our strength that's getting us through this amen but we're doing this because of the holy spirit holding us up right the scripture says that we won't when we fall or when we stumble we won't fall to the ground because the Lord is holding our hand up. Amen. But in order to be mindful of this, we have to know spiritually what the word is saying, right? Spiritually, what is the will of God for us? Definition number three is refreshing. So this journey is also for refreshing. The main factor, revitalization, refreshing. Refreshing is reinvigorate with new energy or strength right so we are doing this 
to have new energy to have new strength, right? So we're not trying to do things off of yesterday's strength. We're not trying to do things off of last year's strength, but we're doing the will of the Lord off of the strength that he is providing us now as we are seeking him now, amen? So as we are seeking God, as we are walking in the spirit with him, he is strengthening us, right? He is refreshing us. He is giving us energy. And our last definition is preeminence. So preeminence is the fact of surpassing all others, superiority, greatness, right? So to be mindful that God gives us superiority. God gives us the ability to be preeminent, right? That is surpassing all others in greatness. So we are to be mindful that we are able to do anything and everything that we put our mind to according to the will of the Lord. As we are seeking the Holy Spirit to guide us, we are to be mindful that we should, feel, we should fear not because greater is he, Jesus Christ, that is in us, is he, Satan, that is in the world. Amen? So we know that we are superior, right? We, from the beginning, have been given dominion, but man has fallen, and because of the falling of man, people think that we don't have superiority that we're just supposed to be the bare minimum that we're supposed to be under other people who have more money or who have a higher position in government or office somewhere but the devil is a lie god has given us superiority but we have to be in the spirit to know that we have to be in the spirit to be able to utilize it correctly to defeat the enemy to overcome him right because he has already been defeated now that's something that we are to be mindful of like this fight is a fight from victory amen so just a recap i'm not trying to give a whole new message or anything we're just recapping and so our founding scriptures our focus scriptures our base scriptures that we have been using throughout this 21 days we are on day nine right if this is your first time joining us that's what we're doing if this is something you're interested in you're seeking god to strengthen you to revitalize you this is the time to join just because you didn't join on day one it's okay you can join day nine and finish day 21 with us amen so today the scripture is acts 3 19 through 20 and 26 so we're going to read that real quick acts 3 19 through 20 and verse 26 so repent change your mind shut the door repent change your mind and purpose turn around and return to God that your sins may be erased blotted out wiped clean that times of refreshing of recovering from effects of heat of reviving from fresh air of reviving with fresh air may come from the presence of the Lord verse 20 and that he may send you Jesus, the Christ, who has been appointed to you. Verse 26. It was to you first that God sent his servant and son Jesus. When he raised him up, provided and gave him for us, and blessed you in turning every one of you from your wickedness, and evil ways amen so that is the main thing wash your hands that is the main thing that we are not the main thing sorry that is a scripture that we are focusing on but a point to get out of that is the repentance right is to turn from is to come back to jesus amen is to be wiped clean so we can start fresh right so if we're if we're trying to carry on everything from last year and be like lord give me new strength 
The thing is, you're probably carrying on things because you missed the mark. You started taking on things that you didn't need to take on. So you're weighing yourself down, right? So let's repent. Let's say, Lord, forgive me. I didn't mean to put my hands on this. I meant to allow you to do it. So Lord, I repent. I take that burden off of me. Amen. And I allow you to refresh me, to strengthen me. Amen. Going further, another scripture to be um, meditating on or scriptures is Psalms 148 and verse 14, which says, He has lifted up a horn for his people, given him power, prosperity, dignity, and preeminence, a song of praise for all his godly ones, for the people of Israel who are near to him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So this scripture is where we got the definition preeminence. This is out of the Amplified Classic. So preeminence was the superiority, the surpassing others, right? So spiritually, we are to be ahead, right? The word of God says we are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. We are blessed going in and blessed coming out right so we have to be mindful of that and being mindful of that is tapping into the holy spirit and allowing him to lead us and when he leads us he positioned us on those high places right but then also let's praise him right praise him before during and after amen as until we see the will of the lord manifested amen and with doing that there's a scripture I didn't add, but going off of that, let's add Philippians 3, 14. I will press on, I press on toward the goal to win the supreme and heavenly prize to which God in Christ Jesus is calling us upward. Amen. So to be mindful that when we press through, there is a breakthrough on the other side. So this fast, we are believing God that at the end of this fast, we are breaking through, right? At the end of this fast, it's something rewarding on the other end. Whether you started day one or today, day nine, it doesn't matter. It is a mindset that we have our hearts postured and we have our hearts repented to the Lord and will in our like, hey, God, you do this for me. You strengthen me. You lead me. You guide me. Amen. So as we are mindful to repent, to praise him before, during, and after, and to break through, to push through, to get this breakthrough, amen, it is going to be rewarding for us. And another scripture, we got three more. Y'all bear with me. I am not on here long. It's been so far 13 minutes, okay? So Psalms 101, it is a lot of scriptures as well, but hey, that's how we are to live life. We are to live life through God's word, with God's word, right? Under our feet, that is the way we are to live, amen? So we are to only know, we only know how to live by his word, right? We only know how to get through things with his word so it is a lot of scriptures and there's a lot of different avenues during this 21 days that we are seeking god a breakthrough for right so our next scripture is psalms 101 verse 8 and it reads this is in the king james version i will early destroy all the wicked of the land that i may cut off all the wicked doers from the city of the Lord. Amen. Early. I will destroy. I will destroy early. All the wicked of the land. So during this 21 days. Let's try to. Crucify our flesh. Not let's try. Let's do. I don't like try. I say try is like an honest lie. Of not putting forth all your effort. So let's do. This early in the morning waking up earlier than normal time hey you may wake up eight o'clock wake up seven o'clock you know however 
you're able to do it. I'm not going to put a definite time for you because that's between you and the Lord. You ask him, hey, what time do I need to wake up? But his word says, I will early destroy all the wicked of the land. And how is he able to destroy the wicked of the land? He's able to destroy it through us. He needs a body. And what else? Praying. Because he tells us we are ought to pray always, right? And he says to fast. So, hey, we're doing both of these together. We are fasting and praying for these 21 days. Even if you're starting today on day nine, that's fine. It's still going to be beneficial for your life. Amen. So let's wake up earlier than normal and have our hearts postured that, hey, we are praying, we are interceding, we are prophesying over our life for the wicked land to be destroyed, right? For all the evildoers to be cut off. Amen. That is an important part doing this 21 days journey of revitalization, right? So being revitalized is to get that enemy off of us. To be revitalized is to have him under our feet. Amen. That is rest. That's that's refreshing right there. Amen. So our next scripture is Joel 2 verse 12 even in the amplified even now says the lord turn and come to me with all your heart in genuine repentance with fasting and weeping and mourning until every barrier is removed and the broken fellowship is restored so it's saying again let's repent let's forget let's forget and forget and allow God to wipe us clean and blot out all the things that we missed with him all the sinful ways all the sinful things that have been done in our life let's repent with a genuine heart not just like oh God knows my heart no God I am I apologize for all the evilness I've done for all the times I've missed to be in line with you I am genuine about this. I want you to really do a move in my life. Amen. So with doing that, he is going to break barriers, right? And he's going to restore fellowship. What's that fellowship? With him. He's going to restore that with us or fellowship with our family, with our brothers, with our sisters, you know, in Christ, whatever that is. But we have to crucify our flesh and we have to allow the spirit to be led by the Holy Spirit. Amen. And in addition with that scripture. In addition with that scripture, we have Isaiah 58 verse 6. Rather, is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the bands of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every enslaving yoke? Even though this is a question, this is like what they say, a rhetorical question. Like we know what you, Lord, we, we know what you're trying to tell us to do, right? We know in our hearts that's how we can say we repent if we missed it because we know that god told us to go here but we went there right so this is saying this at this time this is a fast that we are posturing our heart with god right repenting getting clean for him to loose the bonds of wickedness for him to undo bands the bands of yoke that had us bound to the evil one the evil one ain't gonna give us no rest the evil one is just there to torment us what the word of god says he's here to steal kill and destroy stealing from somebody destroying something of somebody and most definitely killing them i don't see any sense of rest in that any sense of revitalization in that and I don't want to think otherwise because the word of God does not say otherwise. Amen. So at, at these 21 days of revital, journey of revitalization, we are seeking God to destroy these yokes, to break these bands and to loose the bonds of the wicked. Amen. This is just a recap, a check in 
and maybe an encouraging to join in, right, of our 21 day days journey of revitalization. Once again, this is the day you're about to get a popping. This is day nine, and we are seeking God. <laughs> we are seeking the Holy Spirit to refresh us, right? Seeking the Holy Spirit to revive us, to give us strength and energy, amen, and um, allow us to utilize, to activate our preeminence that he has given us, right? Even though we still have things that we are doing, every day you may or may not hear my children in the back that's why i'm giving that little motherly look but it's like i can't do this without him right so we have to crucify our flesh and we have to allow the holy spirit in amen so once again acts 3 19 verse 20 oh acts chapter 3 verse 19 verse 20 and verse 26 Psalms 148 and 14. Psalms 101 verse 8. We added Philippians 3, 14. Joel 2 verse 12. And Isaiah 58 verse 6. Let's meditate on those um, scriptures as we are doing this 21 days journey of revitalization and posturing our hearts to hear from the Lord and to be led by the Lord waking up earlier than usual ask God hey God what is the set time that you have for me so you can early destroy the evil one amen so it's not like in the middle of the day now we're trying to destroy him no we're going to have that thing done at the beginning right not at the middle not at the end let's destroy him now to where he can't take anything again amen well that's all i have for you love y'all see you again